welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering number um, question number two from the January 2021 International A Level Edexcel Statistics S1 paper. Um, this question is about stem and leaf diagram, uh, which shows the ages and years of the residents in a care home. So you have the ages and the key is given as four as being the stem and three as being the leaf and that means 43 so the stem are tens and the leaf are units so for example if i wanted to tell ask you what i wanted to tell what this particular number here refers to for example this refers to 74 okay that's how this is arranged and um, we have to find the median age of the residents so first of all we have to determine whether or not the uh, numbers are being arranged in order of size and it looks like they have they've got the numbers in order of size you've got two three five six eight yes so, so everything's in order sometimes you might get an unordered stem and leaf diagram where everything's in the right uh, you know place but not in the right order so you'll have all the 60s in here but they might not be in the right order so you should always verify first that they are in the you know they are in order of size as well which they are because when we're finding the median especially and the quartiles we have to make sure that they are in order of size now the median which has got the symbol q2 the second quartile or the middle quartile sometimes it's known as is the entry which is right in the middle of all the data when it is arranged in order of size the first thing we need to do is determine how many entries there are now normally or m most more often than not it's mentioned in the first sentence or in the question in this case it isn't so we have to find the total number now what they've done here they've put the total in each of these groups at the end okay so there's one entry in this group in the 40s one in the 50s nine in the 60s and so on so we can add these together and we can find the total number of entries in the data so we have 2 plus 9 which is 11 plus another 11 which is 22 22 plus uh, 7 is 29 29 plus 2 is 31 so there are 31 entries in the data 31 residents in this care home now we want to find the median age of the residents so we want to find the position of the middle term okay so the q2 position is given by taking the number of entries dividing by 2 so that's going to be 31 divided by 2 now that gives us 15.5 so what we have to do is we have to when it comes out as a decimal we round it up to the uh, next whole number so this is the 16th term okay there are, the 16th term is going to be the middle entry okay if it came out as a whole number then there would be two middle terms that term it comes out as and the next term so whenever there's an odd number of entries there's one median term like for example if you have th three entries a b c you see there's one middle term but if you have a b c d there's two middle terms so odd entries there's one middle term even entries there are two middle terms so here we see we have um, an odd number of entries so there's going to be one middle term what do we f how do we find its position take the number of terms divide it by two if it comes out as a decimal then we round up to the next term and that is the middle term okay so we're looking for the 16th term so if we do the i'm going to write down the cumulative frequency at the at the end here so we've got one and one plus two is one plus one is two two plus nine is eleven eleven plus eleven is twenty two so i know it's in this group here so the this is the last nine here is the 11th term so this is the 12th 13th 14th 15th 16th okay so that's um 12 13 14 15 16 that's the 16th term okay so you can count just to make sure 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 okay so we can see that the the up to the this group the last the 69 here is the last uh, number in this group the 12th that's the 11th term so that's the 12th term 13th 14th 15th 16th so it's 74 so therefore q2 is equal to 74 so that's the middle term okay so there's a median age of the residents that's pretty simple now we've got to do part b where we have to find the interquartile range of the ages of the residents now the interquartile range 
is found by finding Q3 minus Q1. That's the interquartile range. So Q3 is the upper quartile and Q1 is the lower quartile. So let's find Q1 first. Now Q1 is going to be found by doing N divided by 4. So you take a quarter of the data. So you do 31 divided by 4. So 31 divided by 4, which gives us 7.75. Again, whatever number comes out, you round up to the next number. So you're going to say, therefore, it's the eighth term. So we're looking for the eighth term. Well, we know that this is you know, the second term. So the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Or you can say this is the 11th. So this is the 10th, 9th, and this is the 8th. So it's 68. So 68 is the lower quartile. Okay, therefore Q1 is equal to 68. Okay, and we can say Q3. To find Q3, we're going to put 3n over 4. This tells us the position, not the value, that's the position of it. So it's 3 times 31 over 4. So it's going to be 3 times 7.75. So it's this answer multiplied by 3, basically. And that's going to give you 23.25. 23.25, which means the 24th term. So we always round up to the next number. Even if it's like 23.25, we don't round down. We round up to the next number. That is the uh, upper quartile, the 24th term. Okay, so we have here 24th term. So as we counted up here, that's the 22nd term. That's the 22nd term. So that's the 23rd, and that's the 24th. The 24th term is 80. Okay, so that's 80. Therefore, Q3 is equal to 80. So, therefore, we can say the interquartile range is equal to Q3 minus Q1, which is 80 minus 68, which gives you 12. Okay, so 80 minus 68, which is 12. So, interquartile range is 12 here. Okay, so there's the answer to part B. And then it says an outlier is defined as a value which is either more than 1.5 times the interquartile range below the lower quartile, or more than 1.5 times the interquartile range above the upper quartile. So first, let's just write down what we found for Q1, for Q2, and the interquartile range. Okay, Q1 uh, was 68, Q2 was 80, and the interquartile range was 12. So if you want to find um, if there are any outliers, we first have to look at the lower limit. So let's look at the lower limit. The lower limit is going to be found by taking um, the interquartile range times 1.5 um, and below the lower quartile. So the lower quartile is 68 minus, you're going to take 1.5 times 12, and that will tell you the lower limit for the outliers. So you have 68 minus 1.5 times 12, which gives you 50. So 50 is a lower limit. And for the upper limit, for the upper limit, we have to do the upper quartile, which is Q3. This is supposed to say Q3 here. Q3, which is 80, plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. So we're going to have 80. So I'll just change this down here. We've got to have 80 plus 1.5 times 12 which gives us 98. So we have to look for ages which are below 50 and above 98. So let's have a look. We have below 50, 1. This is an outlier. Okay, so let me just get rid of these. And above, what was it? 98. There's no outliers above 98. There's no numbers above 98. So the outlier is 43. Okay, so we can say that, therefore, 43 is the only outlier. So we determine the outliers. Okay, so we have this information, and we now need to do uh, part D. Okay, now for part D. Now in this part of the question, it says on the grid on page 5, which this is the grid on page 5, draw a box plot to summarize these data. So I've brought all the things that we've found so far in the first three parts of the question um, that we need to draw the box plot. So a box plot is basically a plot which has certain bits of information and one of them is the lowest value in the data 
The second thing is the highest value in the data. Then it has the lower quartile. It has the median. And it has the upper quartile. Okay. Um, and it also will show some outliers. If the lowest value is an outlier, then you have to show it in a special way. Okay. And the lowest value here is an outlier. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the outlier 43. You can see the scale of this is every one little square is one unit. So 43 is over here. So I'm going to put a little cross there. That's an outlier. Okay, so really we should also mention um, in words as well that the outlier is equal to 43. You can mention this, the only outlier. No other outliers. That's fine. You should mention that. That's um, That'll be good to write it down as well as mark it. Okay, that's going to be kind of like outside of our box and whisker plot, but marked as a little cross. Then I go to the next value that is within our limit, which is 54. Okay, so I'm going to make a mark on 54. So I will make um, like a line going down on 54, like this. Okay, try and make it as accurate as possible. Okay, that's 54. That's like the lowest value within our range. The next thing I need to mark is the um, lower quartile, which is 68. Now that's 60, that's 65, 68 is over here somewhere. So let me mark that as well. 68, that's 6, that's 69, that's 70. That's going to be over here. That's 68, right there. And then the next thing I need to mark is my um, median, which is 74. Now 70, this is 70, this is 75, 74 is just one below that. So this is 74, that's my median. Then I have to mark my upper quartile. It's gone out of place a little bit. Better than the upper quartile, which is 80. Bang on 80 right over here. Okay, now what I'm going to do now for this little section here, I'll, I'll mark the, um, the, uh, the highest value. The highest value that we have in our data is 97, and it's within our limit, so it's within the, uh, you know, there's no outliers on that side, so I can draw my whisker going up to 97, that's 95, 96, 97, so from here. That is the upper, whoops, straighten that out a bit. That is the, um, the, the highest number in our data. So now for this section here, I'm going to put this like in a little box. This is the interquartile range basically. That goes, you draw a box around from the lower quartile to the upper quartile. Okay, and then you draw uh, these what are called whiskers, which join the lowest value to the box that you've drawn, connecting to the upper quarter, lower quartile, and then from the upper quartile to the highest value. Okay, you don't join the whisker to the outlier. You don't join the whisker to the outlier. You stop here. Okay, and that's basically the answer to this question. They didn't ask you to analyze the data. They didn't ask you to talk about the spread of the data or, you know, whether it's symmetrical or skewness or you know, anything else. It's, just, it's a pure question of just number crunching here. No analysis. Okay, so that's the end of this question. Question number two from the S1 uh, June, January 2021 paper. If you would like to see other questions from this paper, you can click on the link that will appear in this corner here. Other questions about this type of topic to do with data analysis and display, you can click on this link over here. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel from this link and at the top of the page I will take you to another like there was a card that should have been appearing take you to another past paper you might want to watch thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon